Hello everyone, this is David from Gold Star Tool and um, we got today a, an order for a console model 146RB-1A-1. Uh, it's a um, walking foot with straight and zigzag uh, industrial sewing machine. So we're gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna show you what you guys gonna get when you buy one of these machines. So a lot of people wanna buy a machine that really is straight stitch and zigzag for heavy stuff, for canvas, for leather, um, anything that is outdoor, indoor, whatever you need that it needs zigzag. And this is the walking foot. I mean, it's a little bit expensive, but it's mother of all industrial sewing machine when it comes to walking foot, heavy duty zigzag. It's obviously made by Conso, it's 146RB, and B stand for big bobbin, the M bobbin. So if you have one of these machines at home that you use M bobbin, then you set uh, one of these M bobbins. Uh, great, great machines. I'm gonna try them out. The machine is set up on a table, uh, which again, all the sewing machines are pretty much 99% are the same. 47 by um, 21. A lot of people want to know what it's called. Come here and I'm going to show you. People want to know what is the uh, distance between the edge to the needle. Here we have like around 22 and a half. It's just that people, when they have their whatever, they, 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 they lay out they, their work here, they want to make sure how much room they have here. The post of the, the bed is 19 inch from one end to the other end. And from the needle to the neck is 11 inch. So you have uh, 11 inch to work here. And uh, not oil pan, not a pump. You see all these places for oil when you get the machine. There are places that you just drop oil, uh, and that's it. There is no pump, no reservoir down here. It's just a, um, a drip. Oh, this is so heavy for God's sake. A drip um, plate right here. No pan that, that has oil or pumped oil, and this is the system. It's front load uh, bobbin case. Uh, and bobbin from the front. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to um, get into it. Uh, comes with a bobbin winder on the side, obviously. It comes with the thread stand, obviously. The motor. The machine today is set up on a T-leg with wheels. This is one, you know, the customer wanted to move the machine around. So we set it on a T-leg and a wheel. The motor is brushless motor. And with this, uh, machine you could also add needle positioning system and we have many videos on needle positioning system. Uh, we're gonna get with the machine when you order you're gonna get a couple of screwdriver, a wrench, a hand tool, a bigger screwdriver, bobbin and the oil that we talked about. That's all you need. I mean every now and then you just put a drop of oil whenever you see this marked red and you're good to go all right all of this stuff here and you have the uh, owner's manual for the sewing for the motor and for the machine plus part okay um let's talk about the option that the machine has number one option is walking foot right and we know what option walking foot is number two it has reverse you push this here reverse number three you have uh, you have a stitch length from one millimeter to five millimeter. Okay, and the most, I mean, the reason people buy this is because you could have it both straight and zigzag. And how that's how you, for the reverse, this is your reverse, this is your stitch length, and I'm going to show you. And this is your, when you want to take it from straight up at zero, it's a straight. And you're gonna go to two, four, six, eight, ten, and you could get rid of this. Let's say if you wanted 
open it up and go higher and close it down, all right? So it could adjust, meaning this could lock the, where you want it to be. That's number one. Uh, again, no oil needed inside. Do you want to show the back? Here is the back unit. This is the walking uh, foot part. Um, again, very important that you drop all these places that you see oil, a drop of oil every now and then. And you're gonna have machine comes with LED lamp, thread stamp, it comes with the shoes. Uh, and you could come back here. What else do we need to talk about? Oh, I'm using a T105 thread today. Yeah, I'm using a polyester T105 thread, but obviously this machine could 100% do nylon 69, 138, and uh, I would think 270 as well. Very easy to do 270. Um, I think the needle is 135 by 17. Um, almost, almost sure, but unfortunately there is no mark on the needle. Um, it seems that it is 135 by 17, but uh, it's, it's, we have that information on our website. Okay, so what I like to do is to show you guys how this machine works. And I brought in, I'm gonna put this machine to test. We have a bunch of jeans, the cotton, some vinyl. I don't have no leather, but look at this. This is, wow, rough, tough stuff. So to start, here you go, turn on the machine. With this speed up, you see, you could speed down if you want. The rest you don't want to touch, it's about programming and safe. So this is up and down. Let's keep it at 3700. And here we go. Adjust the sound. One of the things you want to do, make sure uh, when you are want to take the thread out, only press this, and when you press this, it releases the tension right here. And then we could take it from there. What do I do with my scissors? Do I put scissors in my scissors somewhere? I don't know. I'm going to get my scissors right there. Excuse me. Coming back. All right. So again, this is the. A stitch length, okay, and this is uh, straight and how wide you want your zigzag. And I'm gonna start by doing a two layers of. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna put on zero, okay, and we're gonna show. See when I you show here when I put on zero, see now and zero. When you go to the left, to the highest, it start from the left, the needle, that is. And maybe this one is better for you. So obviously this is no brainer for this machine. Very good, very easy. And then whenever you, some people say they have a hard time, it makes it much easier if you push this down and turn this. Okay, so this is at the highest five millimeter. I'm gonna leave it on five millimeter still length because I think you guys could, it's easier to see. Okay. And now let's say I wanna start with two millimeter zigzag. Okay. I'm sure, I hope you're doing a good close-up. Let's go closer to me so you could show everybody the, I'm doing, and then I'm gonna take it to four. So this was two, this was four. I'm gonna do six, two, four, and this is six, and I'm gonna go all the way up and See when I pull this, push this, 
it releases the tension and then they could easily take it out. So, this is it, the whole idea. Now, if I wanna go ahead and take this to, and again, it's a little bit hard, you have to, ladies are gonna call in and complain all the time, this is the problem that they're having. The, the reason this is very hard because usually you don't use this that often and you don't want it to be loose so it will, when the machine is working and shaking, you don't want this to change uh, the, uh, I'm gonna put this on um, three, three millimeter, okay? And I'm gonna use some vinyl double layer, knee lift and I'm gonna do a zero. See that? See how close it is? I'm gonna, and by the way, you could lock. Pull out, pull in, pull out, you could use it and it has to be up obviously when it's up you could move it, right? I'm gonna just do, coming back and I'm gonna do four layers just to show you guys. Right? Four layers of heavy duty wine, as you see. And I'm gonna show you the back, look at the back. And if you see some of these, you could always attach, I mean. I'm gonna do closer. See, like this one now, I changed it. thread is gone, I have to re-thread it. And now threading, all the sewing machine is good that sometimes the thread breaks while I'm doing this. And the thread got uh, broke because it got connected here. It's really perfect that when I'm sewing and I'm doing this, the thread breaks. So you guys could see that it could happen also at home and it's pretty normal for the thread to uh, Break. If this happens a lot of time when you're using heavy stuff, heavy duty thread, you could use a silicone spray. Use a silicone spray on your, um, the line where the tension are, where the thread is coming through. You could buy, we have silicone spray, you could go to any sewing store, they have silicone spray. And uh, I'm gonna put this in. Meanwhile, I'm putting the thread and I'm gonna tell you that this machine doesn't have any other feet by this one. This is the only type of feet you get, you know? And the, the, the uh, should be about, um, a little bit over half an inch uh, for the, for the food. So, um, there is no other food. The needle is from front to back, if you want to get in. And I'm wearing glasses today, come on. And let me go. I'm still gonna try some of these heavy uh, fabrics. The bottom bobbin is um, uh, the nylon 69 bonded thread. Just wanted to let you guys know. Come on, get in there, no? Okay. Uh, what else do you wanna talk about? I'm gonna show you the inside, how to change the bobbin and the bobbin case. And um, 
and the tour is the front to back. A lot of people use this for um, marine, uh, bag making. Oh my God, I shouldn't be that bad. Uh, people are making fun of me right now. They're like, okay, then you should do. Um, it's a pretty thick thread, but half of this, most of the problem is on my eyes. I mean, I'm wearing glasses, but. Come on in there, get in. I think you've got it. You just need to pull it from the back end. Did I? It looks like it's in there. Yeah. It's in there, it's just that you have to. It is not. Woo. Meanwhile, you guys could go get your popcorn and put it in the oven, microwave oven, while I'm doing this. So we could come back and we do this, but no. Just kidding, I'm done. That's it, here, here you go. go. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, now, uh, I'm gonna, this is very, 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 very thick canvas. And um, this is one layer, and there is two layers here already, and this is the fourth one. Let's see how it's gonna do on this one, okay? Um, okay, I'm gonna, I. No problem, guys. Well, the back is not good. I'm gonna see if there is out of bobbins, out of thread. Otherwise, then we have to thread it. Let's see. So, if you wanna change, come back here, all right? This latch open, take it out, and we have thread, but the, the thread got stuck. Why? I don't know. Let me take this out, yeah. It at the end of it. It was at the end. So the way you're gonna do the, um, while we are it, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this one. It's all good. Uh, whenever you wanna thread, and this is going to a customer, and the customer is gonna appreciate this, I'm doing a video. Um, Bobby goes right in here, all right? And obviously we have to do this again, but this one has a big hole, so it's not a big deal. You gotta come here. So right here, through this big hole, pull it out inside the tension, make sure it's inside the tension, and then, now, you see this is plain, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put this back down because the, that's the only way it's gonna work if you go back down because this, when you press this, it's gonna hit the belt and it's gonna run. There is no magic. Um, see, now I'm gonna start sewing. I'm gonna, I mean, pushing the pedal. And you see, okay. It, this is going, but this is not turning, right? So there's a remedy for it. There is nothing wrong with the bobbin. There is, not, is something wrong with this. And that's not, they use this machine for this bobbin winder for a bunch of. All you have to do, come here and just make it, open it up, put this back in. Ooh, I think I did too much, right?
see? Put it back in there. Now it's gonna turn. Put your money back. Everything has to happen now. So, um, where is my? Tweezer, did I have my tweezer? Is over there? Good. See? I don't want this to get. So now, come, this is very good. See? This gets stuck here sometime and the machine doesn't work. So people call in and say, hey, the machine is not working, right? Because this is stuck in here. Because there was no bobbin in here. I was running the bobbin winder. All you have to do is wiggle this one and try to move this one out. Okay? And it's already too late. That stuff got stuck in there. So what I have to do is I have to Close this one up, okay? And take the bobbin out. Okay. I wanna make sure there is nothing in there. And, um, I'm gonna put this on zero. I'm gonna turn on, the machine is on. I'm gonna just run this. One more thing I'm gonna do is see, this is going now. I really honestly I had to get rid of all this stuff. This is the, I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna cut this. So we're gonna have nice, Okay, but now it's gonna be good, it's gonna be okay. It's going back and forth, right? It's all good, all right. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna take this out. Just leave this here, okay? Cut this part. Okay, now we bring this here. We put it in here. Okay, and then pull this out through here from underneath and it's gonna be right here. Then, you got it? From here, underneath, and then pull it. Now, you take this. Again, we're gonna open this and it's gonna be very heavy. And we're gonna come back and make sure there is none of this stuff here. We're gonna put it back in here. That's all. This is gonna stay out. This is gonna be perfect. Pull it back. That's a long video, Carla. <laughs> it is. <laughs> People are gonna say, oh, I don't have time for it. But this is good. I mean, you, you pretty much you watch this and you could see. And then guess what? We have to just thread this again. I'm gonna bring this up. Put it through the tiny hole up there. Okay. I just gotta be patient, David. I'm not a patient guy, but with this tip. It would have been much easier if you bought like bonded, so it would be.
out, okay. And now, when you wanna start, what I usually do is that I hold this, okay, and I put this down, and I pull out the, the other thread, you see that? The other thread came out, you see that? This is, you see? That's it. And then you could lift, take the thread out that way, and then push this down, and take the thread that way too. So most threads are staying down, right? And then now uh, we try that one. I'm gonna try this, because I wanna close this video. You guys get the idea, four layers of heavy cotton. By the way, um, I would think this would go out quarter inch. Uh, quarter inch, yes, maybe more. But here, I'm gonna start sewing. And I'm gonna do big stitch so you guys could see. Working. Now I'm gonna do eight layers. Now I'm gonna do. I hope you guys the light doesn't bother you. It's not nice. People are gonna say David is messy. <laughs> Lift and wiggle. Back, front, beautiful. Okay, we did that, we did this. Let me just do one more on this. I'm gonna get rid of this. We did another heavy duty machine now. This is gonna be eight layers, guys, of jeans. I want you guys, I'm pushing this for you. Oh, see, that then, okay, good. Start. Go. No problem. On a T105, you could use T, I mean 69 bonded, T138 bonded, 270 bonded, and I'm gonna bring this to zero. I'm gonna do some straight. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is what we did before. This is from uh, David from Gold Star Tool, and this is console 146RB-1A-1. When you get it, make sure you drop oil in there, all right? And you're gonna love the machine. It's a great, great sewing machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what type of video you want me to do for you. Thank you for watching, and have a golden day. Thank you.